Now I'm in Texas and we just got our first freeze in mid-January. Now it was a hard freeze. I had to pick what was left of my fall tomato crop. Now I made fried green tomatoes and then Mimi made her green tomato pie. And this video is about what was left. So it's salsa time. Now these are small and somewhat blemished, but they're gonna work just fine for salsa. Lay all your tomatoes out on a foil lined cookie sheet. Yes, there's a red one, but it's going in there too. These are going into my oven set at 550 degrees Fahrenheit, set on broil. I'm going for seven minutes and I'm starting them off covered. I'm using another sheet of foil on top because I'm not trying to get them charred. I just want to get them softened up a bit. After seven minutes, the tomatoes get turned over and then back into the oven for five more minutes. And this time we're going uncovered. And that's just enough time that a few of them are just starting to turn brown. So I'm just gonna be trimming these up a bit and I'll discard anything that I don't wanna eat. Now everything goes into the food processor. You wanna add diced white onion, one can of chipotles and adobo sauce. I'm using a 3.7 ounce can. I added two tablespoons of minced garlic, or you could use three or four cloves of fresh garlic. One teaspoon of salt. Two good tablespoons of lime juice. Now blend it in your food processor. You can blend it as thick or as thin as you like. Now you can see that the chipotles and adobo sauce definitely gave this sauce a golden brown color, but they also give it a great flavor. Now I love the way this salsa turned out. I wound up with 32 ounces of great tasting salsa. Now I consider it mild with just a little bit of back end heat, but I'm a fire eater, so keep that in mind if you're following this recipe. I highly recommend that you try this salsa. Now all you gotta do is hit that like button on your way out, consider subscribing, and remember that you heard it here at Paw Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. <laughs>